Hey guys, Dan Booknook Noggin here, and let's talk about a book I just finished. I just finished reading All Hollows by Christopher Golden. Um, this was roughly around 325 pages, and this is something that just came out around January of 2023. Here it is, May. So it's been out for a few months. Um, this is a book that takes place on Halloween in the 1980s, I think it was 1984 or 1983, I think it was 1984, and I didn't even realize at the time I was reading this, I didn't even realize that it took place in the 80s until I was almost finished with the book they happened to mention the year, and I was like, oh, okay. Um, but first off, I want to do say that, um, I kind of was expecting something different from this. I knew it was a Halloween kind of themed book. And I was expecting something kind of like Dark Harvest. But we're going to get into that. It was slightly different. Like if you're looking, if you've read Dark Harvest and you're kind of expecting this to be like that, it's not. Um, I didn't read the synopsis, and I kind of wish I had read the synopsis, because I have read Christopher Golden before. Um, I had read some comics, some Hellboy comics that he had written, and he's kind of touch and go for me. I've read three different books by this guy, and like one I absolutely hated, one I thought was okay, and then, you know, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to say flat out the 60% of this book is suburban drama. And I say that because one of my biggest gripes is there's way too many characters. Um, a couple of the chapters are segmented by um, character names. So, like, it'll be like, oh, this chapter is about, is from this character's perspective. And there was just way too many characters, and it all takes place in this one little neighborhood, this little cul-de-sac in this town, and I, to be honest with you, I don't even remember where the town was supposed to be in. But it's kind of overwhelming because there's just way too many characters to try to remember who all is who, and there's all this drama going on, well, like, oh, this this couple's having marital problems, and so is this other couple, they're also having marital problems. And I felt like there was too much an emphasis on these people's marital problems than there were on an actual supernatural event going on on a Halloween night. So that was kind of my takeaway from that. And like I said, it very it took away a lot from the enjoyment of the story. Um, nothing really happens with this. I mean, you get introduced to a few of these like these kids who are ran randomly popping up um, in different areas of the neighborhood, and yet they, they fear for their lives, they're afraid uh, the cunning man is coming to get them, and we're not really sure what the deal is with these kids, because like I said, the focus was so much on the dramas that were going on in these people's lives, that it kind of took away from the main story. Um, yeah, so we when we find out what the cunning man is... Not until, like, after 60% into the story did we really find out what's going on. And then everything kind of just ramps up and, like, the clock is ticking because they need to, you know, everything is going to happen at, like, midnight. So, yeah. Um, my overall enjoyment of this book, I, I decided to give this, like, a 3 out of 5 star rating on Goodreads. I was not super impressed with this book. I thought it was an okay read. Um, like I said, I, I didn't read the synopsis ahead of time. I've, everything I've read by this author has kind of been touch and go. So a 3 out of 5 star rating for me is kind of a fair fair rating for this book. Um, if you're Like I said, if you're expecting the Dark Harvest, don't. Because this is not... You're going to be let down. Because this... Like I said, a lot of it was just mostly suburban drama. Like, who cares about stuff like that? And um, it says it's listed as historical fiction. And like I said, I didn't even realize it took place to the 80s until the story was almost over. And I was like, oh, really? It takes place in the 80s? Because there is no 80s nostalgia going on in the book. Like, they mention a lot of Susie Sue and the Banshees and stuff like that. But you would never figure that that meant that it took place in the 80s because... Yeah, it is what it is. Um, for a Halloween read, if you want to bang this one out just to say you 
if you want to read it, like if you're going to do a Halloween themed read, you know, reading thing, I would, you know, put this on your list. It was an okay read. It was something, it was, it was worthwhile reading. Would I say you got to go out, jump out and read this? It's a must read. No, I'm not going to tell you it's a must read. By all means, I'm not going to say it's a must read. It is what it is, and of course, as always, I will have a link to Amazon down below if you want to check this out for yourselves. Um, this is going to be a short little, brief little, like, thing. Because like I said, it wasn't very long. It was only 325 pages. Not really much going on for it. I, I can't really tell you what the cunning man was or what the the children that were popping up, what they entailed. Because that's a whole mystery thing that's not really revealed until you're past the halfway mark. You know, it is what it is. It's an okay read, in my opinion, if you want to check it out. I will have that link. You know, go ahead. And any and all purchases that are made through that link, I get a very small percentage of everything that's purchased through that link. I'm also going to throw it on my coffee link if you want to help support my channel. That's all I really got for you guys. If you want to, you know, see more reviews like this, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload again. Till next time, this has been Dan. Later.